Hi, I'm Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. Today I'm crafting this leather pouch that The Mandalorian wears in the Disney Plus show, The Mandalorian. I love the show, seen it two times through now, and wanted to craft something based upon Mando's armor or his outfit. Then I looked at a few key pieces of the armor or the outfit to decide what would make the most sense for me to craft. I settled on the small pouch that Mando wears just to the right of the belt buckle. The construction seemed rather simple, however I ran into a couple issues. Let's get to it. Here I went with English Tan Dublin. This is a Horween leather, approximately four to four and a half ounces thick. And then it's just a matter of cutting out your template. The hardest part of this project is probably gonna be not humming the Mandalorian theme song in my head the entire time. Here I am tracing the template. I'd like to think that this looks like a land speeder more than anything else. Some of the more intricate corners, I'm using my Berger Blanchard knife. Here I'm just pre-folding all the corners. This English tan Dublin really shows off that pull-up within the Horween leathers. This is the back piece for the belt loop. And here I'm just adding my logo. Next up is to sew on the belt loop to the back of the pouch. Here I'm using Vinibo number 5 MVT brown thread. Here I'm just putting in the hole so that I can then secure the button stud to the bottom of the pouch. This is where things get a little dicey. I thought it might be a good idea to sew the pouch, but I then discovered how difficult that was, as you can see here. After that, I gave up and decided to use some brass rivets to secure it together. This was also a little difficult and didn't come out quite how I liked it, but the shape is still there and that's what's more important to me. I then tried to put it on my press, but that didn't work and I had to end up just hammering it. Once the bottom corners were secured with the brass rivets, I then use my rotary punch to punch out the holes for the top corners. This piece is going to be the securing piece to hold the pouch together to the button stud. There's a hole to secure the button stud. And there it is secured together. For the end of the strap, I decided to go with a more English belt tip style. And here's the final product. so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it I had some issues getting this pouch secured together I was challenging myself to try to get this done within a short time frame so if I had more time I'd like to think that I could get this figured out however I'd like to hear from you do you have any suggestions as to how to secure this together within those small corners there 
Let me know in the comments below. But overall, I am pleased with the result. I am on Instagram at Legacy Brown Leather. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.